Hey, Mike McGrody here from Mike'sBackyardNursery.com. Um, this is something that actually Dustin and I talk about a lot. But, you know, because people, I don't tell people that you can get rich growing and selling small plants from home, but it's a great way to enhance your savings if you do it on, you do it the right way because really I call this place my savings account and Kathy will kind of pan right here. This is our this is our section right in front of right behind her is a cash register where we check people out. But all of these plants are ready to be sold. They're worth six dollars and ninety seven cents a piece every last one of them the way you see them. So some of this stuff I just bought. Sometimes I buy perennials and small plugs and pot them up. Other things we do is cuttings. But these are the, uh, in the well, there's some Shirobana spirea. We grew that from cuttings. I'm going to take the camera from Kathy and kind of walk around here and narrate this thing for you. So this is Fire and Ice Hosta. I just bought these. Um, what, how long have these been pot? About a month, six weeks? Six weeks. Six weeks or so. This is a Mighty Mouse Hosta. Really small, compact Hosta. The Shirobana spirea we grow from cuttings. So that's like that's almost pure profit because all we have in it is a cutting probably 30 or 40 cents worth of potting soil in a container summer snowflake viburnum we grew back here there's some java red white zelia that's a great seller these black eyed susans we've got a bed of black eyed susans out back and every year we dig up four or five tear them apart and pot them off and it's like an endless supply of plants Gold Flame Spirea, that's a hot seller for us. And of course, Purple Sand Cherry is a hot seller. These Butterfly Bush, I bought, these are actually, now when you're buying, when you're buying uh, plugs, perennial plugs, they come in either 72 to a flat or 32. I'm pretty sure everything that I got in this area were in 72 count trays. Look at the growth on these things in six weeks. And this morning, these were covered with Butterfly Bush. Um, Blue Angel Hosta, there's a Mango Tango, Anna's Hyssop, Fire Witch Dianthus is a great seller for us, this is some Yarrow, little, little Nugget Butterfly Bush in the middle, uh, Mini Skirt Hosta back there, Fire and Island, I mean Island Breeze Hosta back there. Alright, let's take a spin and I'm going to give you a, a tour of this place, I'll give you a tour of my savings account. And so you don't have to wait forever, we'll do this motorized. Go over there, we call that section six. You can see the donkeys are out there grazing. Um, there, we have quart containers in there. I retail those for $5.97, and then when our members come, and we sell them wholesale for $2.40 a piece. And then off to the left of that section is our propagation area. This is section number one. This is my wife Pam. She's going to say hi to you. She's pruning. That's what she does. Every single day she's out here pruning something. So this is section one. This is little business daylily. I've got those planted actually on that hill over there. You can see all the daylilies in bloom. So every year we dig up some little business over there and divide them up. This is uh, Coral Bell, um, Snow Angel Coral Bells, Rheingold Arborvitae. Right down there some ornamental onion. That's a hot seller for us. Little Princess Spirea. There's some lilacs over there. Some Gold Coast Juniper. More, more Wygelia. Flocks, we've got two different kinds of flocks, um, more black eyed Susans, and then there, over there there's a handful of Annabelle hydrangea. I know we've got Annabelle all over this place. Let's jump back on the, back on the four wheeler here and we'll go to section five next. This is section five. We've actually created some shade here, um, and that will be our overwintering. I'm going to do a separate video on that. So section five, we got a bunch of arborvitae. There's a green. There's probably green giant. There's emerald green, 
and probably some dark green in here. Um, variegated white gelia, white gelia, great seller for us. Grow those from cuttings. Blue rug juniper we grow from cuttings. Allegheny viburnum we do from cuttings. The coral bells, I bought those as, as plugs. Same with the, the peach blossom is still the great shade plant. We sec, sell a ton of those things. And those I buy uh, uh, like bare root clumps. More fire witch dianthus. This is a uh, red prince wygelia we grow from cuttings. That's tango wygelia right there we do from cuttings. This is all summer beauty hydrangea. Beautiful plant. Kind of challenging to keep happy in zone 5 during the winter months. Um, this is Island Breeze Hosta. I had some up front. There's a variegated Larope. Ignore the weeds. We're getting ready to weed this section. That looks like milk and honey will still be back there. Maggie Daly will still be right here. I don't want to trip over anything and break my neck while we're making a movie. This is Eeny Weeny Daylily. It's a very compact yellow daylily. You can see a bloom right there. I don't see the sign. There's a sign. Oh yeah, this is peach blossom to still be. There's some lilacs here. I don't do the lilacs as cuttings. I buy those as plugs. So now back here, this section straight ahead of us. This was actually we we actually had plants in this full section, and we had plants over there. I've decided to make. We actually made this section bigger. We added on to it, and then we created another section up front. So that we can consolidate our watering so we only have to water fewer areas and of course this is a part-time retirement business for us so we're actually going to eliminate this section and let the donkeys take care of this and of course this is a there's a lavender twist weeping red bud and there's all kinds of there's about five or six of them along there and all kinds of rare Japanese maples in that area as well The Japanese maples, um, a couple of tree hydrangeas. Pam took a couple of our tiny tree hyd our, our hydrangeas and trimmed them up into trees. There's a Japanese maple here that I want to show you. This was actually given to me by a member. Her name is uh, Janice, and she was a very, very, she was a wonderful member. She did a ton of things. Everybody loved her. And then she finally decided that she was going to retire and just take it easy but this is a Japanese maple that she grew from seed and she gave it to me so I could plant it out here and share it with you folks she called it uh, Sadie's Delight and you can see the new growth comes out very very red and, um, so anyway Sadie's Delight she named it after her daughter so that's kind of interesting coming from a member all kinds of there's the, the hydrangea this is lion's head Japanese maple that's Benny Shanghai. It's variegated, more lion's head. Can't remember the well. There's a tag. It's uh, uh I can't pronounce it. There's a there's a tag on there, but I'm not going to climb up in there. So anyway, these are actually peaches and cream. These two Japanese maple. This is a bridal respirea that we just planted here, so we can take cuttings from it. Same thing with these uh, um, summer snowflake viburnum. And then Pink Whisper Potentilla. So they're either Pink Whisper or Goldfinger. I, I don't know. I know. I'll know when they bloom. I don't remember what we put back here. Butterfly, Japanese Mabel, another Shanghai. That one is probably Inhibitia there. So anyway, that's a tour of my savings account because all of these plants have value. Every single one of them can be like the Japanese Maples. I got people trying to buy these all the time and... I'm just not that crazy about selling them. I like to sell the small stuff and I'm a little bit too attached to Japanese maple. This is that bed of Black Eyed Susan that I was telling you about. That we, every year we come back here and we pull a few out of here and divide them up and pot them up. And literally we, we pull out three or four plants and get hundreds of plants that we can sell for $6 each. So anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I'm Mike McGroarty from mikesbackyardnursery.com. Um, Dustin is probably going to put a link right below this video 
you can learn more about what we do and what our members do. So, hey, I'm Mike McGrody from MikesBackyardNursery.com.